Number 16, 1942 Washington Quarter in PR67 plus condition, struck in the final year of proof coinage until 1950. By 1942, proof production was way up, and 21,123 pieces were produced, fully brilliant and extremely reflective, with just a faint whisper of gold iridescence at the reverse periphery of this gem. It was sold for $1,680. Number 15, here is 1978 D. Eisenhower dollar in MS67 condition, according to Stax Powers, roughly handled by Treasury Department employees and bank personnel, circulation strike Ike dollars as a type are rare in superb gem mint state. This final year Denver mint example is impressively smooth with subtle toning in iridescent powder blue and champagne apricot. It was sold for $1140. Number 14, this is 1938 Washington Quarter in a PR68 condition, a virtually pristine superb gem with mottled pastel toning to universally mirrored surfaces, impressive condition rarity from a mintage of 8,045 proofs, one of the most limited in the Washington Quarter series. It ended up selling for $2,280. Number 13, this is 1974 Eisenhower dollar in MS66 plus condition. Predominantly pearl gray surfaces reveal intermingled powder blue, olive gold, and pale pink highlights under a light. Expertly produced and very carefully preserved. With a mintage of more than 27 million coins, the 1974 copper and nickel Eisenhower dollar is not a rare issue, however. Not a lot of attention was paid to it at the time of production and few gems are known. Several factors account for lack of nice examples, they were carelessly made and had overall low relief making them more susceptible to early wear, especially when jostled around in pockets or stored in sacks. These MS66 plus specimen fetched a sum of $2640 at auction. Number 12, here is 1984 Lincoln Penny with double diverse, otherwise doubled ear Lincoln, graded in mid state 68 red by PCGS. Lincoln's earlobe is clearly dye doubled northeast, and his beard also shows doubling. A popular guidebook variety, seldom encountered in essentially perfect condition, even the use of glass fails to locate a contact or carbon. It was sold for $3,450. Number 11, moving on with this 1971 Jefferson Nickel proof, graded as PR69 Cameo by NGC. What makes this proof coin so valuable is that S mint mark is missing on a verse, while the proof Roosevelt time series has a number of no S varieties. Only one such variety is recognized for the larger Jefferson Nickel. This high end no S proof from 1971 has outstanding contrast and virtually flawless surfaces. The mirrors in particular are remarkable. It ended up selling for $3,450. Number 10, another Air Nickel 1942p 5 cent piece struck on a Lincoln set. Otherwise called double denomination error coin, graded as MS64 Brown by PCGS. According to Heritage, this war nickel was struck on a copper set. Lincoln is nearly inverted relative to Monticello. The outline of his head is readily evident. The truncation of his coat arcs across E pluribus unum. On the obverse, the NT from the scent is apparent on Jefferson's cheek. The chocolate brown surfaces retain hints of brick red. The nickel mint mark is bold. It was sold for $5,760. Number 9, this 1920 Lincoln scent struck on an experimental planchet. Graded in mint state 64 by PCGS, the PCGS insert state's alloy is 82% copper, 16% zinc, and 2% tin, which scents, aside from 1943 dated steel issues, are typically 95% copper. This satiny and well struck scent has olive gold color unusual for a Lincoln scent of any year, essentially devoid of marks, though we note small spots near the ST in the trust and relatively small spot east of the Lincoln's nose. The overs ring between 1.30 and 3 o'clock has a few minute depressions as made. It ended up selling for $5,280. Number 10, 
Number 8 here is 1943 P. Jefferson Nichols struck on a steel sand planchette graded as MS-64 by NGC, an amazingly lustrous steel white example of this one-year-only error type, wherein a 1943 P. War Nichols was struck on a blank meant for steel sand production. The date and the mint mark are visible in the entirety, though certain elements at the left peripheral on each side are partly cut off. It fetched the sum of $9,775. Number 7. Moving on with his 1929S Lincoln Center MS66 Plus wet condition, the 1929S is one of more challenging issues in the Lincoln Center series in gem or finer full wet grades, and it is rare at the premium gem red level. Satiny copper orange luster encompasses each side while the design elements show above average definition. A few tiny carbon specks are noted upon close examination, though the surfaces are otherwise beautifully preserved. It was sold for $14,400. Number 6 here is 1944 Washington Quarter struck on a zinc plated steel planchette. Graded in mid state 62 by NGC, a magnetic zinc plated steel sands were struck in 1943, and the alloy was also used in 1944 to strike a much smaller quantity of 2 francs at Philadelphia Mint for war torn Belgium. One of the aforementioned zinc plated steel sands in use for only two years ended up between 1944 Washington quarter dies to become these of metal mint error. The present mint state example was struck flush with color dye near 6 o'clock and has a bold date. Liberty and the denomination are altogether absent. This wartime error quarter was sold for $16,800. Number 5. This is 1932D Washington quarter. Graded in mid state 65 by PCGS, grade was later proven by CAC. The classic Washington Quarter silver, ser silver series from 1932 to 1964 is one that a new generation of collector has moved into backwards, so to speak. The wild popularity and success of statehood quarter series drew literally millions of new collectors into numismatics, many of them casual, but the percentage became quite serious. Some collectors have now expanded their acquisitions backward in the class issues of 1965 later, as well as the even earlier silver pieces, but the 1932D remains a stopper of the series for the new collectors. The few gems available are capstone for the finest registry sets as well as the finest grade obtainable. The present example boasts impressive mint luster over near brilliant surfaces. It was sold for $17,250. Number 4. This is 1923 Peace Dollar Double Struck, Second Strike Off Center. Date and motto in God We Trust is not fully struck. Backside of a coin displays poor impression as well. Graded in mid state 64, this error coin ended up selling for $18,000. Number 3, here is 1926D Buffalo Nickel with attractive toning, graded in mint state 67 by NGC. According to Heritage, no other issue in the series has quite the same reputation as the 1926D. That reputation is one for poor production quality, lackluster surfaces, and incomplete detail. While strike alone was not a culprit, the Denver Mint did use dyes well past their normal life as a, as a cost cutting measure. This elusive 1926D is simply exceptional. It was sold for $38,400. Number 2. This is 1923S Lincoln Sent in 65 red condition. The 1923S is a challenging issue in the red color category, most often seen in MS64 but occasionally in MS63. Gem red pieces are notably rare. This coin is showing satiny copper orange and golden hues with well struck design elements and remarkably little evidence of dye fatigue. A few microscopic flecks are discernible on each side. It was sold for $60,000. Number 1, and the most expensive lot of these episodes, 1926S, Lincoln Sentinel 65 red condition, 
During 1940s and 50s, collectors retrieved numerous 1926s cents from circulation, providing a supply of worn pieces for modern numismatists. However, circulated representatives become noticeably more elusive in AU levels, and mint state examples of this issue are all more challenging to locate, particularly with original red color. Most mint state examples known are either attractively lustrous but poorly struck or sharply impressed but toned brown. This specimen is fully lustrous, satin orange gold surfaces yield boldly rendered design elements, and the eye appeal is nothing short of remarkable for the issue. It ended up selling for $102,000. Thanks for watching guys, keep following us on YouTube and don't forget to hit subscribe and like buttons. Have a good one.